for your average player, many of you will probably never use the first person camera in GTA Online. But I'm here to tell you why it is by far the best view to use, but also why it's the worst. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let's first look at the settings you want to get the best out of first person. Go into settings, controls, and then down to first person look around sensitivity. You want to have this maxed out. This means that you will be able to turn around and maneuver a lot faster. Here you can see the comparison when it's high compared to when it's low. A massive difference. This will also help you navigate tight corridors better. Changing these settings may take a while to get used to, but the benefits will show. For first person aiming sensitivity, this is another one you will also want to have at maximum. This will change the speed at which you can move your weapon around while you're aiming. Obviously, the faster you can do this, the quicker you'll take out multiple enemy threats. For the first person aim and look dead zone, this is about how quickly your character responds to your inputs. Having it lower means it will respond easier, whereas setting it higher will make it feel heavier. Have these set to low based on your personal preference. Having first person aim and look acceleration set to maximum will speed up the time it takes you to move around while holding your weapon. Now go to camera and have your allow independent camera modes set to on. Now you are able to choose certain circumstances where you will stay in first person and times where you won't. For example, with first person ragdoll off means that if you get knocked over or fall off a building, you'll switch to third person so you can actually see what's happening. <laughs> This is the same when getting into a vehicle. It's similar with the combat roll, as rolling in first person can be very jarring and confusing. The other change I recommend is having third person cover on. This will allow you to see over cover you are hiding against, so you will have a better peripheral vision of what is happening around you. With first person auto level camera set to on, this will automatically allow your view to go back to the center instead of having it in a fixed position, like if you were to look down, or if you were to look up. And the last setting is having your first person on foot field of view set to maximum. This will increase your peripheral perspective so you can see more on your left and your right. All the other settings here are down to your personal preference. Now with the settings out of the way, let's get down to why first person is so good. The one thing you'll notice straight away is how much faster you can go up and down stairs. The speed it takes you to climb the stairs in the Kasatka is gigantic. The steeper the stairs, the bigger the difference. This is great for navigating the stairs in the Diamond Casino, so you can easily run past the cameras without any threat of getting detected. One of you needs to hold the access button in the security room. Same applies for your agency, when you just want to get to the top to get some ammo or armor or snacks. Making your way through tight corridors is also much easier in first person. Got some cool stuff here for you. What you carrying lately? While on the topic of the Diamond Casino, there will be times when first person will aid your running after you have collected the primary loot. If you have gold, for example, you can't jump with it to speed up your movement. So using first person means you only have to hold the run button, which will give you a maximum speed, rather than constantly bashing it as you would need to do in third person, depending on your settings. You'll also notice that general acceleration, particularly when loading into a new area, is ever so slightly quicker in first person than when in third. Another massive benefit is how recoil of weapons, especially larger, more powerful ones like the Combat MG, are lesser affected. This makes it so much easier to hit your target where you need to, rather than have it keep rising up and having to adjust after each bullet. Pressing the R3 trigger on PlayStation, the right stick on Xbox, or scrolling up on your mouse on PC will change how you view down the sights. 
it's best to have it like this so you don't have the gun block in much of your sighting, but it does mean that you do not zoom in as much. First person will also massively increase your capabilities with a sniper rifle. When in third person and looking down your sniper rifle, movement and acceleration are quite slow and laboured. But compare this to when sniping in first person, where the difference is night and day. This will not only allow you to be a harder target to hit when in a sniper battle, but you'll also be able to stray faster to hit your target you want. This makes it great when in cover, as you can pop out very quickly, take your shot and then hide again. So that is why first person is the absolute best. And now, why it's the absolute worst. Obviously, driving in first person is pretty awful. When driving, you generally want to see as much of the road and your peripherals as possible. So first person really isn't advisable, as you cannot see traffic coming at you from either side. Getting onto some vehicles, especially like the Oppressor Mark II, can be very clunky and awkward, where you will sometimes not even get on it at all. With the settings I mentioned earlier, where you can change the third person in certain circumstances to get a better view, this also applies to generally playing in first person, where like the driving, your vision is limited from either side. This makes you much more of an easy prey for ambushes and people off the radar. Or simply crossing the road. Going back to the Dima Casino heist, there will be times where running will be much faster in third person than when in first. If you have artwork where you can run at maximum speed, shooting your weapon to put you in an alert phase and then running while equipping and unequipping your weapon will make you run faster. This will have no effect when in first person. Get to the getaway bikes! They're in position now! Hustle! You should avoid the bulk of the cops this way. The only thing that matters is making it to your ride. This will also work in free mode. So that is why first person is the GOAT, and also why it sucks. If you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. Here are some other videos you may also enjoy. I'm Beatsdown and I'll see you in the next one.